broadcasting from the basement of La Penta. It's WICR. Well, everyone, it is finally that time that, again, we it seems like when we started the show, we had eons of time to finish things out, but we're at the close and Big Shot Rob, Jersey Joe Archino here one last time. And then, of course, you know, it was a long break, and I do apologize for that, but, you know, we have our family in the back. We have lots of cookies, lots of cupcakes. So can you really blame us, Rob, for taking that long break? I mean, come on. No, we we have the cupcakes, the black and white cook. Oh, black and whites are really hitting, hitting the spot right now. See, <laughs> Rob, I love the way that you did it. You had a steady course of the cupcake. <laughs> you went to the cookies. You went back. I mean, it's just it was a beautiful sight to watch. But I think now that we closed out, you know, we reminisced a little bit. We talked about some of our favorite shows. But I think you you just got to go back to where it all started. And I think. One of the things that I'm most proud about with the sports vault, and I, I, I said this earlier uh, during the day when we were talking to some other people, but I, it's one of those things where when you talk to people, there you can't find anyone else who's stuck together for the four years on their show. You can't find anyone who can say freshman year, they were with another person, and then look at us right here, senior year, our final day of classes. We're here doing a show just like we did. I mean, that that's not something that you see, and I think that, for to me, is the thing I'm the most proud of, is that we can say that all four years at Iona, and we would have done it all every semester, but we, of course, didn't run into each other until the second half of our freshman year, but not a lot of people can say that. Yeah, I mean... It's we got lucky, Joe. We, we did we, get we lucky. We got real lucky that we got the chance to meet each other. Had you know what? You look at it freshman year. Had we not both clicked on that class, on people saw, we would yeah. not, never have met. Had I n- have not seen you in the front row, we never would have met. Had I not have been able to approach you and a- talk to you about sports, I saw that jersey <laughs> and I said, I got to see if he loves sports and. It turned out being probably the best four years of my life. This has been something that I went to college here for MassCom Radio. You know, uh, next year I'll be going for my master's in business. But if there's one thing I have to say I love doing in college, it was getting my chance every week to do my radio show. I loved having time to put it together. I remember staying up late at night for this, and it was just such a great experience, hands down. It was. And, you know, I, I've been in here so much. I spent more time in this studio than anywhere else, but. It just it never felt the same unless it was with the two of us, uh, unless it was you and I in here doing the sports ball. And you know I've done a lot of segments by myself solo too, but it's it just not it, when when I, it, it's at its best. It's when Rob is sitting there and I'm sitting right here, and then we could just have these conversations. I mean, it, it used to be funny. We used to come in here with piles and pages of notes, writing writing down everything we were gonna say. But I mean, and that's how you start out, and now it's just it's just a natural conversation. It's just you and I talking, and I think that's when radio is at its best, and it's something that you've mastered, something that that I've gotten so good is. It's just we're just having a conversation about anything. We could go from Captain America to the amount of cupcakes that are eaten during Radiothon, back to Johnny Manziel, to Jamarcus Russell, <laughs> to the Cleveland Cavaliers, back to black and white cookies, and it just it just works. Yeah, I mean. It's amazing just, like, the chemistry, you know. When we came into radio, remember how nervous we were our first show? And we were like, we need to get that CD. We have to tape our show. Oh, my God, (laughs) taping the shows. That that was the thing that I was the most terrified about is in for – People now, we didn't always have the same thing that we have now. We have Ustream now, which saves these videos, so they go up to YouTube. There's no problem. We don't lose anything we ever do. All the work is there. But in our freshman year, you needed CDs to save the show, and it was such a pain in the neck to get that stupid (laughs) CD to save the show sometimes. Oh, my God, Rob. I remember we had to run to Demerges. Um, Mike, um, <laughs> so uh, we try, we attempted to tape it. Could you write down that you listened to yeah, our show? Just, just <laughs> vouch for so it. At the time, it's funny now when you look back at it, like we Mike didn't really know us at that time. We're just like two annoying kids who go in there and, and ask him to do this for us. And and now look look what happens there. But I mean, it, it's it's just so fun. Even even when you look back, I mean, our first liner, the first promo we ever made, I I love that thing. Maybe I'll try to find it and play at the end of the show, but. The sequencing, and I did put words in your mouth, Rob. P. Rob did not actually think that the New York Knicks were going to beat the Miami Heat to win the title that season. Uh, I, I made Rob say that. So, Rob, I'm sorry if you didn't want to say that. 
I made you say that. But he did win the title. I, I mean, back in that day, though, I did believe we were going to win. So, <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, uh, yeah, I did think the Knicks were going to win. And then there was Peyton I'll Ellis. Admit to that. Peyton who? Peyton who? Peyton and then who? Oh, the Tim Tebow part of that liner, oh. too. Oh, or A Rod is making more than the entire, oh, the entire Astros. Houston Astros. Oh god. Well, that was my like. It used to be in the early days. Sometimes, like to get you Rob and you riled up sometimes. But when we did some of those old steroid segments, oh man, you could just see the temperature going up. You some of my favorite ones are when Rob. You could just see the the energy, the intensity coming off from him. And I think the, a lot of those were steroid segments. <laughs> I know, certainly know. I, I think the yell, the, the loudest I ever yelled was about Barry Bonds. I loved our NFL ones. Oh we, God! We, we predict the games. I would go like three and thirteen, <laughs> four and twelve, and Joe had like twelve and four, eleven and five, and I'm like. I'm like, I gotta start taking Joe's pick. Well, I think part of it too was Mike told us to be disagreeable sometimes, and we used to agree on that. We never disagreed, so we were just like, "All right, you're gonna pick the Jaguars. I'll pick the Titans." <laughs> and we did dis- We did invent many words on the sports ball during our run. I-, I think my favorite word ever invented was tremendously awful. Tremendously awful used to describe many athletes, <laughs> but I think the first two were Robert Griffin the third and Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> I mean, those words, it's a fitting word. Mm-hmm. Wait, that's two words, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that is two words. I mean, look, no, no, is, you know what? It's our th- dictionary. It's our though. dictionary. We th- put it together. Yeah, it's one w- word. This is why we stick to sports, people. <laughs> Vocab, well, although, Rob, you're a numbers guy. You are a numbers guy. You are the brains of the operation. I just read the sports stuff, and then you tell me if it makes sense or not. Um, I wouldn't say that yet. The numbers guy, <laughs> Nick Grippo still is the numbers guy over me any day of the week. Yeah, that's true. But he, th- <laughs> he thinks that the Knicks are still playing their season right now. So, you know, that that's also another thing. And he thinks he's going to have lunch. And it's it's 8 p.m., Grippo. Have dinner. L- lunch lunch comes tomorrow, all right? But, yeah, I think, I, I think, I think Morale's got to get a shout-out here, too, because certainly the sports vault started, and Morale was a part of that. And I love the liner when we started the show. It was Jersey Joe, Big Shot Robin, Meryl. Meryl. Now, Meryl <laughs> is a Pokemon, for people who don't know. Part of it, it, Meryl is a Pokemon. Meryl is a person. So the person from Sirius, you know, they include... I guess it was you, me, and a Pokemon doing our first show for a while. <laughs> and then Meryl came in there occasionally. But you've got to give Meryl a shout-out, too. I mean, did Meryl always know what we were talking about? No. No. <laughs> But Morale gave it her best shot, and I think the effort was appreciated by all of us. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was funny, though. Some, some of the stuff she would come out and say was funny. Oh, God. I remember we were doing an NCAA show one time, and I, 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 I think I forget what team, but I was like, I was telling you why I thought, like, I mean, it was Virginia was going to beat this team. And then you're like, yeah, I see that. And then she's like, I, I disagree. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, all right, if, if that's what it's going to be. I think when I said Geno Smith one time, I just she just had no clue what I was talking about. <laughs> Geno Smith is Rob's favorite athlete, for people who don't know. Yeah, MVP, man. <laughs> MVP. Yeah, we, we did have to. I, mean, I used to love the Jets segments that we did. When when the Jets went on that run with Geno where they would win a game, lose a game, win a game, lose a game, win a game, lose a game. Uh. It, it's like every week it'd be very overjoyed, happy Rob, and then Rob <laughs> devastated. Happy joy, Rob, and then Rob <laughs> devastated by the Jets. Unfortunately, you know, your Knicks, your your the Yankees now, the Jets, your teams have given you a lot of frustration, Rob. Uh, they have. Joe, I- I'm just realizing now in all four years of our college, we did not watch one New York team win the championship. This is pretty depressing. We saw the Mets in the World Series. We saw the Rangers in the Stanley Cup. But no no ring. No ring. No ring. No ring. <laughs> I that that really is kind of a kind of an amazing thing to look at. I mean, the the Ravens were the first team that where when we started our show, they won the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. So that was one of the first shows that we did. And I guess the final champion that we'll we'll, we'll predict. All right, Rob. Here's the here's how we're going to end it with in terms of the sports breakdown. Final prediction for the NBA: Who wins the title? And, and people are going to remember this because remember this is the last show. The San Antonio Spurs. Oh, no, unfortunately, there went we the didn't. cell phone. There went the cell phone, so the Facebook one is out, but that's okay. We've still got the Ustream, and it did last a long time. The San Antonio Spurs. I don't know it. I don't know if the phone falling is because – I don't know. It, maybe it, it maybe somebody's going against me right When now. you said that, it fell. That's kind of amazing. Hold on. You talk, and I'm going to try to fix it real fast. Okay. 
Yeah, so you got to go with the San Antonio Spurs, even though the Warriors didn't quite own them, as I would say, this whole year. But uh, they want to win this series. Tim Duncan's really going to have to step it up. I mean, it's it's been a great year so far. Uh, I mean, this NBA Finals, we're going to see LeBron James back yet again. So God knows what LeBron will do. Ian Sachs coming in. Ian Sachs is a IT man right now. Many times with this live stream, and you've got to thank him big for that. All right, Rob, so I respect it. San Antonio Spurs, I respect going with it. Ian Sachs is being a trooper here, helping us out tremendously, so the phone doesn't fall. And it fell twice, so that it could have been worse than that. That's a nice angle, too. I'll take that angle, Rob, for, for finishing it out. But, Rob, you know who I'm going with. You know. And uh, four, years of, four years of college, <laughs> I've tried to change your mind. It well, doesn't work. You still owe me Dairy Queen I for do owe of you last Dairy. year. I, I guess Monday, after we do our farewells, me, you, and Ian are going to have to make a quick stop. Ian, to, you uh, cool with that trip? We're going to have to do our quick 30-minute trip. I, uh, I like that. And bring Demergis his messed up ice cream like last year. Oh, time. God. <laughs> yeah, his milkshake kind of melted. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a different story for for another day. But, you know, I'm going with the Cavaliers. I wouldn't have done it at the beginning of the postseason because with a healthy, healthy Stephen Curry, I don't think it would have been possible. But... With a limited Stephen Curry, Rob, with the ease the Cavs are going to get to the finals, that was that was a different finals last year if Kyrie Irving doesn't get hurt in overtime. Rob, it wouldn't be a final if I didn't pick a LeBron-led team to win something. So I think my final prediction is Cavs win this year's title. You're going with the Spurs. Yes. I like it. I like it. And <laughs> we are currently at the 11-minute mark of the final segment. So, Rob, Final words, I just have to, like I said before, there's nothing that I enjoy doing at Iona more than interacting with you through the station. And it's really one of those things where Mike Demerges says all the time that you meet people through WICR that you might not have met otherwise, and that 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 is the case. And if I hadn't met you, I could honestly say I would have missed out on meeting one of the most genuine, just one of the most well-meaning people I'll ever meet in my whole life. And you really do meet your friends for life in college and for you I, I think that's the case you were really the first person that Iona that I was able to really bond and connect with and it's one of those things that I will take with me for the rest of my life and when you're sitting at your desk one day you're going to look at a picture like this and I know I certainly will and you've got nothing but good memories and I have no regrets on anything that we did it was the best time you could ever imagine thank you um <laughs> I, I want to say a few thank yous first I want to thank my parents and your parents. These past four years, Joe, they they helped send us to this school. They've done everything right. They're what proper parents are. They prepared us for the real world. They've taught us how to be men. They've been there for us in our hard times, for our good times, and that's what they're here for. They they are the, what true examples, and someday we're going to look back and we're going to be the same examples for our kids later on in years. Second off, I want to thank God because without God, our path wouldn't have been set here that we would have gone to Iona College. It's 100% true. And um, b- between this, coming here to Iona College, I met four great friends. I met you. I met Ian. I met Armand. The Fab Four was created. The Fab Four was created. We could add Terrence in there. Make yeah, it the we'll Fab put five. Terrence in there. But um, this has just been a great year, a great four years in general. Mike Demerges, what could I say? The man who... Took me, it took me and you, and taught us how to be broadcasters, how to get it and attract our audience. Thank you, you d- did a tremendous job, and you coming here to Iona, you helped reshape this program. This is the house you built. Always remember that, Mike, because you helped set this up. Now going to ICR, Pete started when we were first started with radio. Pete truly set the president. He helped restore ICR to what it was. He gave you the arms to take over, and you did a tremendous job. You helped with so many things here. We won IBS awards. We Our advisor won advisor of the year. We stuck together as a unit all four years, and we stuck together as friends. And that's what I'll forever remember because I'll always remember friendships never die. And they the don't. friendships are something you always carry with you at the end of the day. So I just want to say thank you, Joe. Thank you for always being the friend that I've needed. Always be in there when I've had my questions, <laughs> my thousand questions. <laughs> Thank you for everything. And um, 
I promised I wouldn't do this. <laughs> um, j- just, just thank you because um, there's nobody else that would want to do this past four years with on the radio. No, there, so there, you. there's Rob. There's never gonna be a time where I'm not there to answer your quick questions, and there's I'd kick everybody in the world to the curb to do a show with you over anyone else. I don't care if I didn't get and make a dollar my whole life. If I had the option of making a million dollars or doing a show with Big Shot Rob a few more times, I take Big Shot Rob every single day of the week, every single time. You build friendships that last a lifetime. Relationships are what make you who you are in life. And Rob, you're the one that I will never forget as long as things go. But unfortunately, and then at the same time with nothing but good memories, Jersey Joe Archino, Big Shot Rob, my favorite nickname, the best name. I mean, come on, folks. Who's got a better nickname than Big Shot Rob? There's a reason his nickname is Big Shot Rob. because he never fails. He's always ready to step up when you need him. There is only one Big Shot Rob, there is only one Jersey Joe, and there was only one sports fault at Iona College, and it all happened right here. I want to thank everyone for constantly watching, everyone who tuned in tonight on Facebook, on Ustream, everywhere that it was. You guys helped motivate us every single week, and and then again, I'm going to say it one more time, Rob. Big Shot Rob, Jersey Joe Archino, here with the Sports Vault. Until another time, everyone, thank you for tuning in, and we will be back someday in the near future.